Dear students, in this module, we are going to talk about uh, horticultural and uh, agricultural societies evolving from uh, uh, hunting and gathering uh, and pastoral societies towards horticultural and industrial societies. Uh, about uh, 10 to 12,000 years ago, people started or people began to use the hand tools to um, produce their own food instead of collecting and uh, gathering the food from their environment. So um, by using, or by making those tools, human beings were being able to be more productive and more creative to collect uh, or to produce their own foods. So uh, these societies can also be distinguished or be understood uh, based on their economic needs as well as their social organization. So uh, for the economic needs, societies marked by relatively permanent settlements because uh, they have been involved in the agriculture. So they needed to be uh, permanently settled in the spaces or in the, pla in the geographic areas where more water was available. Uh, uh, agriculture definitely depends on the availability of water and fertile land. So these societies, people uh, began to be relatively permanently settled in the areas where uh, such resources have been abundantly available so that they could produce their own food. And uh, uh, production of domesticated crops started and, and then the social organization also started to begin uh, very complex in a way that people learned how to produce the surplus food. Uh, which could have been uh, stored by uh, using different mechanisms and techniques and the elaborated domain of labor began to be uh, emerging uh, as compared to the society in the uh, what have been observed in the hunting and gathering societies so different occupational roles like farmer traders craftsmen uh, begin to emerge uh, during that stage so examples of societies like uh, we can see in our villages or maybe in the tribal uh, regions where people still have very simple technology to produce their food. They are not depending on the, uh, on the latest or modern technology to produce their food. So um, maybe uh, we can still find these people around uh, those areas, uh, those remote areas where uh, technology is yet to be available. Uh, when it comes to agricultural societies, uh, these societies uh, used uh, the technology and domesticated animals to produce more uh, food uh, for, um, instead of using the hand tools, they uh, were more apt to use the technology which was uh, more complex as compared to what was available in the previous societies. So. Definitely, the based economic base uh, was uh, important to produce such technology because the, as the societies became more complex because of the uh, increasing population, uh, human beings were in need of more food. And to produce more food, they needed to have more technology or the complex technology which could, uh, uh, which could be available to fertile, uh, to, for the fertile land to produce more food. So livelihood dependent on uh, the elaborated and large scale patterns of agriculture and increased use of technology for uh, more food production. In this society, the caste system began to emerge where uh, differentiation or the uh, sense of identification have been by, your, uh, mm, uh, by, by the specialization of your tasks like the farmer uh, in the in the in the industrial in the agricultural society has its his own specialized task whereas the barber would have their own speciality examples we can see uh, even uh, in today's pakistani society in the rural areas where you would find different people with different specialized tasks. Not everyone is engaged in uh, uh, collecting or making food, but people begin to sense that we can do much more than merely producing the food because we can now have more time thanks to uh, the availability of technology to produce more food by using the less labor. So now we can see that people are having uh, 
enough resources as well as much more time to be engaged in other tasks i mean other than the collection of food other than the security and other than producing the shelters